finally, the ignited coyote returns to Hyden, Kentucky. Beautiful Hyden, Kentucky. Not just anywhere in Hyden, Kentucky, but the world famous Hyden, Kentucky Dairy Queen. That's right. We're at the world famous Hyden, Kentucky Dairy Queen. Why is the Hyden, Kentucky Dairy Queen world famous? Well, we'll tell you in a minute. Folks, if you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you will not miss future videos. Share it on social media. Comment. I love your comments. And now, let's talk about this. First, I'm back in hiding for this video because this is a special video. This is the first video I've done since I've reached 1,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you folks more because you folks did it for me. I did not do it for myself. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't subscribe to my own channel a thousand times. You guys did it. And I can't thank you enough. I am so grateful for each and every one of you that watches my video, videos and enjoys them and comments on them. Now, like I said, I'm here because I've reached a thousand subscribers. Well, Hyden's special to me because my brief visit to Hyden was the first video I did that had a, over a thousand views on it. It's got well over a thousand views now, but that was my first thousand view video. So for a thousand subscribers, I thought I'd come back to Hyden. Now folks, let's talk about this Dairy Queen. Why is it world famous? Alrighty. One night, I think it was in 1994, to the best accounts I can find, late one night, a van loaded with professional wrestlers and wrestling manager Jim Cornette. Now, if you know anything about the explosion of professional wrestling in the 1980s, you'll probably know the name Jim Cornette because he was the long time, the only manager of the Midnight Express, both versions, the Bobby Eaton, Dennis Condre version, and the Bobby Eaton, Stan Lane version. Later, he was the manager of the Hev Heavenly Bodies. I think that was around the time period he visited Dairy Queen. Now, Mr. Cornette has encyclopedic knowledge of professional wrestling. He's probably the most knowledgeable person on professional wrestling, especially old school wrestling, living today. If not, he's pretty close to being the most knowledgeable person. But Jim Cornette, a native of Louisville, Kentucky, is one of those people who actually probably has a more colorful, bigger personality behind the camera than he has in front of it. Mr. Cornette has been a booker. He has promoted his own territories. Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Ohio Valley Wrestling, a WWE developmental area. So he knows his business. Now, Jim Cornette is also known for having an extremely short fuse. And it got lit here that night. Him and his uh, wrestlers came through. It was even mentioned on the episode of Larry King, I read, back when Larry King was on CNN night. Jim Cornette had came through here. Now, I want to warn you folks, you can watch this video. If you Google Hyden Dairy Queen, if you go to YouTube and punch in Hyden Dairy Queen, that's all you have to punch in, that video will pop up. If you punch in Hyden Dairy Queen slash Jim Cornette, it'll pop up. You can almost punch in just any relation to this Dairy Queen and Jim Cornette or this Dairy Queen and you'll get that video. There's uh, two or three different uploads of it on YouTube. But I want to warn you, the language is salty. I mean, Jim Cornette can cuss and does cuss. So, you know, this video may not be for you at all to watch. But if you do decide to watch the original video I'm talking about, do not have kids in the room. Do not. And like I said, if you're sensitive to foul language, just don't watch it at all. Because it'll turn your face red. <laughs> Anyway, they came through here and uh, 
according to what Mr. Cornett says in the video, they waited about 15 minutes in line after ordering a large order, and they get to the window, and they find out the folks inside had not prepared the order because a woman at the window says they thought it might be a joke because you know you think what a small town hiding is they probably don't get that many large orders and uh, just before closing time so they wanted to wait till they got to the window to make sure it was real order well after waiting in line 15 minutes Jim Cornette was a little testy about it and him and a lady at the window they went Broadway, bell to bell, in what can only be described as a verbal Texas death match. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was incredible. This was recorded by one of his wrestlers on the video equipment, I think, that they used to actually video the wrestling. And like I said, uh, be warned, you may not want to watch the video. But this Dairy Queen become very famous over that incident. So now, hey, let's see if we can go inside. I think it's open. And see the actual Dairy Queen, and we may go by and get a Coke at the actual pickup window where this verbal Texas death match took place. Hey folks, I gotta thank our friend Bobby that works here at this Dairy Queen for giving us some great information. The lady in the video, you hear Jim's opponent for that night, <laughs> uh, still lives around here. She don't work here anymore, but she still lives around here and she stops by ever so often. And he said that she really, uh, 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 he didn't think had an ideal how huge that video had got. And the cook here has worked here 30 some years and uh, he was here that night. So thanks, Bobby, for some great information. We appreciate you. And we appreciate everybody watches these videos. God bless y'all, and bye.